So what we wanted to do was to look at those particular studies and ask the question, uh, why did they come to those conclusions? And one of the things that we found when we looked in the methodologies was that they actually used tumor tissue to derive the CYP2D6 genotype. Now this is an important fact because, uh, or important issue because CYP2D6 is a uh, liver enzyme. It's not present really at, uh, at uh, much, very, very low levels in actual tumor tissue. And furthermore, it's actually known that uh, uh, breast cancer and all, actually many cancers are genomically unstable. So the question here was, is the genotype that one derives in the tumor the same as what, you, what a patient is born with? And the answer is, it's not. What we found was in, by using a, a large uh, publicly available cancer data set, that is the TCGA, as well as another data set uh, from patients with metastatic breast cancer, that up to 45% uh, of uh, breast cancers contain what's called loss of heterozygosity at the CYP2D6 gene. So I like to think of it this way, you inherit one of these, one of these alleles from, you, from each of your parents, uh, one from your mother, one from your father, and in the tumor, one of those alleles is lost up to 40% of the time. What does that mean? It means that if you use the tumor to genotype for CYP2D6, you get it wrong uh, a substantial proportion of the time.